Hello and welcome to Web Dementors YouTube channel and we are watching learning bootstrap series and this video is about horizontal forms and inline forms so in the last video we have seen about how to alter a basic example form that has been given in the getbootstrap.com documentation and convert it into a contact form and before that we have seen how to add the form to our web page by just copying the code for this form from the getbootstrap.com documentation example so I've used this copy button to copy this code and paste it in my HTML file and at this moment our contact form is looking like this so I'm going to test out both the inline form and horizontal form in my contact form so if you have not watched the last two videos I recommend you to go and watch that video so that you can understand it clearly but if you're not having time and you are in a hurry and you have to watch this in order to understand this I'm just saying you there's nothing so difficult for you just copy the code from here the getbootstrap.com documentation pasted it in here and added a couple of fields and alter the name of the fields and all the ID for the fields and you can also do the same you can just play around there's nothing uh, difficult or advanced in this so right now I'm going to apply this horizontal and inline form to my existing contact form that we have created in the last video so in order to make it as a horizontal form the first thing that you have to do is add the class form horizontal to my form so this is where you have to add it and apart from this apart from this you have to add column spaces so how many columns my element has to stretch so you have to add that to each element both the label and also the input element so for adding the column space for the label you can add it directly to the class of the label but for the input element you have to add it as a division in order to make it work so first of all let me actually add this class to my label now I'm adding the label class which is column SM2 I'm just going to use the same column space sizes that has been given in the example so you can alter it based on the needs I'd recommend you to actually try it out and then alter it later so now first let's test it out how my first element looks okay this is good this is not bad but it has been a little bit raised so for that you have to add this control label when I refresh you can see that it actually snaps back and close to the input element so you have to do the same thing for the rest of the elements I'm going to do that and uh, I'll just uh, copy it and paste it for each element uh, I like to actually skip it through and make this video small but if people who are watching this video without watching the first two videos I think I'm thinking that uh, so this will make them to copy down the code if necessary because it's not necessary it's not something that is very difficult for you to actually understand from the getbootstrap.com documentation so I haven't copied this class for this label so just copying it placing it and we have to do the same thing for another element and I'm going to do this so you don't forget you can add the column space for label directly on the classes and then for adding column space for the input fields you have to add divisions with the class of column space that is required so now without doing much of a difficulties I have added the horizontal property to my form and now my form is horizontal form and I have this submit button in here I'd like it to be in here so what I'm going to do is just going to add the column SM and put it in here well this is going to give me the space but I need some offset so if you remember we have used the offset column MD offset 2 refresh it you can see that the submit button is now moved so if you if you don't know what offset does you can go and see the offset video that is available in the playlist uh, it will explain you clearly so now my contact form is a horizontal form so in order to do the inline form you just have to copy this class copy it and paste it in here 
but of course you have to remove each and every column space that you have added so I should have done it before the horizontal form but the reason why I have done it after the horizontal form is inline form is not going to be a good thing for you so you're not doing that for a bigger form you would be doing that for only forms that has only two elements or two input fields that you want to do for more input fields like this six or seven I don't recommend inline form so in order to do this I'm just going to remove all these things so let's just uh, do the control is it just going to remove everything I'm going to paste it sorry about that I'm going to copy this paste it so again we have to add one more class to the labels so class SR only to all the labels except labels don't add it to anywhere else so this is uh, here and here and here and here so now let's refresh and see I'm not sure whether it will work or not yes it did the reason why it came down as I said in the first uh, part itself this will snap down because it's not having space enough in that place so don't worry about so now you can see that uh, the labels are uh, labels are hidden and uh, the form elements are coming in so I, that's the reason why I said I don't recommend you to actually do the inline form if you're having more than two input fields so if you're having uh, a login form something like only with uh, the username and password okay you can go with the inline form so uh, for that just remove the subject and message and give you a sneak peek of how it will look and you can see that that's how it will look so let's go back again and removing the form inline as well so we're getting back to the normal actually the default form so this is how uh, the horizontal form and inline form can be made so for horizontal form keep remembering this add the class horizontal form that is the form horizontal and then add column spaces to each of the elements so for a form group you will be having a pair that is the label and then the input field so add the column space for the label directly on the class of the label and then add the column space for the input field by adding a division with the specific column space that you want that input field to have so for the inline form you have to add the class form inline in the forms and then for the label you have to add the class sr only that is going to hide the label but it has to be there for some reason so that visitors can easily understand what that field is for for the input field you don't have to add anything so don't touch it just leave it as it is but in inline form make sure that you're not using it unless your form is small or you're going to use the form with four or five input fields with a long wide screen that means that you're going to use the entire width of your website for that form so I recommend go for an online form only if you have two or three maximum three input fields more than that don't go for it just use the normal default form or else the horizontal form so in the next video we'll be seeing some uh, stylings that can be given to the input field and also the forms so stay tuned for it and uh, please subscribe to the channels in order to know when the video is uploaded and uh, thank you for watching this video and if you have uh, any kind of doubts issues problems or feedbacks and suggestions please use the comment section of this video to let us know and you can also use your facebook page please like the facebook page of course and also the twitter feed uh, follow the twitter feed for some uh, tips from us and advices from us and uh, if you find this video useful please like this video share this video and also subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day